Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a basic uh, slash intermediate tutorial on RD Works. Uh, I'm running version 8. Now, as you well know, this is a software that uh, is used for laser engraving, and uh, I'm not sure if it is used for any other uh, machines, but I have a 50 watt laser engraver, and uh, this is the software that I run off of it. It's the software that came with the machine. Uh, when I first started my laser engraving business, there wasn't really any help videos out there I had to learn everything for myself and that took a pretty good bit of time to learn the ins and outs so hopefully today I can show you um, the basics uh, stuff you need to know to get started and then from there you can go on and uh, and uh, just find stuff out for yourself by trial and stuff so let's go ahead and open up our RD works here and uh, the first thing you need to know uh, probably the most important thing is how to import images. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go up here to this top toolbar and you're going to have File, Edit, Draw, Configs, Handle, View, and Help. Uh, first thing you do, if you've never used this software, you need to go under Configs, System Settings, and this right here, this um, X mirror, this X axis mirror, it's going to be checked like that and what you want to do is you want to uncheck it because if you don't when the laser in, uh, interprets your file it's going to uh, engrave it um, inverse and what I mean by that is if you've got a word uh, when it engraves it the word's going to be backwards kind of like if you see it from the back side of it uh, if that makes any sense so it's going to be mirrored uh, so you want to uncheck that, that way it engraves exactly like what you see uh, on your screen. Now you do want to leave that one checked because if not, then it will mess, uh, it'll be ac actually uh, upside down. Okay, so now that you've got that done, we can go ahead and, I can go ahead and show you how to import your image. You're going to go to File, Import, and uh, I've just got my Dropbox here with some images. Uh, let's go ahead and just pick out this frog. Okay, so I'm going to drag it to the size that I want. Um, so now you've got this sidebar over here, okay? And it's, I know that all this is a lot to take in, but uh, I, I'll be able to help you through it. And it's really not that bad once you learn the, the basics of it. A lot of it uh, I, I know how to use, but I just, I never use because it's, it's just not, uh, it's not something that you'll use that often. But, uh, so I just want to tell you guys that and so don't get don't freak out when you see all this it's really not that bad okay so we're gonna take this box this is a, um, for shapes if you want to create a a square or a circle um, this one right here is for fonts um, we're gonna go ahead and make a font called frog and or not called frog um, it's actually Rockwell, but we're gonna the word is gonna say frog, and we're gonna make this. We're gonna drag it over here to our JPEG image, and we're going to get it. Uh, try to get it spaced out right. Okay, so that looks pretty good as it is, but if you want to get everything aligned completely. First, if you want the size to be um, exact ratios, as you can see up here, when you click on your image, as you can see up here in the top corner, there is the width and the height of it. And this is in metric units. So if you are in the United States or you use imperial uh, measurements, uh, you're going to want to get a conversion kit because this software does not support um, inches and feet. So um, I've just got like this little... Um, this little thing here and it's a conversion software and it helps me out um, and you can also Google um, conversion calculators and stuff so it's not that big of a deal it's just a little bit of an aggravation but anyway so if you want to get it to completely lined up correctly you're going to select both images and this bar right here is going to be you're going to be able to align it on that side align it flush on that side on the top on the bottom but this right here is going to line it exactly in the middle, vertically, and or sorry, horizontally. And this is going to line it vertically. So that puts it exactly in the middle. And so we're going to take our word, 
and we're going to also put down here and we're going to select all of it and align all of it vertically so the frog is exactly in, in the middle there okay we're going to now I'm going to show you how to to take uh, when you have a complex job or even a basic job for that matter uh, it consists of you can have it to consist of different layers that way you can burn different things at different speeds um, and at different depths uh, and different powers and all that kind of is related to each other but basically to get just some things darker some things less lighter and uh, and I'll show you too in a minute how you can cut some things and engrave others okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take the JPEG image of this frog and we're going to put it as a red layer and as you can see it says BMP on it um, that's not because I changed it to a red that's because it's an image if I change the word frog to red see it's just a layer um, it's not a BMP only the images show up as a BMP and that's how to distinguish those two things um, as as you can see all your layer your layer list is all over here say if we want to change the frame to a blue it's there and um, what you're going to want to do next is you're going to go under handle cut optimize and you're going to want to check this box it's going to be unchecked uh, when you um, install the software but you want to go ahead and check that box and that is uh, what that does is whatever is the first on the list that's what it's going to um, engrave or cut uh, this is especially handy handy if you're doing like uh, ornaments or something you don't want it to cut it out before it engraves you know or it won't engrave right so you want the engraved or the cut to be last but it just does it from first to last uh, first it's gonna we're gonna have it engrave the frog second um, as you can see this is says scan this says cut and that says scan we want this to scan as well so we're gonna double click it and now we've got another menu here okay we want the output to be on because if not it's not gonna do this layer and we want the speed for engraving we're going to do 175 at 90% power. Now you don't want to do 10% power because my machine will not uh, actually work if the minimum is 10% power. It has to be 30%. And we're going to go, um, this right here is, um, I believe, if you have an air assist, um, that's for if you want it to be blowing on that or not. I just always keep that on because uh, unless I'm doing acrylic, I always keep the, the air nozzle on. And this right here is you've got scan, cut, and dot. Dot I never use. It's for like a leather designs is the only thing that I could see that that'd be used for. But it basically um, it will do the same thing as cut, but it just does it in dots. Um, but we're wanting the image to scan, so we've got the frog to scan there. Okay, or that's actually sorry that wasn't the frog. That was the the word frog. But that's also going to be scanned. Um, the frog though we're going to change to 175 our output is on it's on scan blowings on our powers are correct so that's good to go we're actually going to take the word frog and we're going to make it a little bit darker so what we're going to do is slow the laser down say to 140 and that will make that word darker um, now this right here we're not wanting it to cut through the wood we're just wanting it to outline the wood so what we're going to do there is we're going to change this from scan to cut we're going to keep our power the same uh, I found to cut through three to five millimeter wood you need to burn at a speed of three millimeters a second um, and sometimes that needs to be followed up by another run of ten millimeters a second but we're just wanting to make a distinct line but not cut anywhere close to all the way through so we're going to run it at um, let's go ahead and say 70 millimeters a second okay so once you've got all this you can go ahead and you want to have your machine on we're going to go ahead and boot that up right now but once that's on you're going to want to make sure that all your orders is correct and then you want to go go down here to download and click that wants that and then you want to transfer all that over so that's good to go and I, you can start the engraving from right here I found that sometimes if you do that 
it comes out uh, the the file gets corrupted somehow and it doesn't engrave correctly I can't really explain it but it just doesn't work out so you want to download it here and then I'll take you to my machine uh, we've got here and you're going to want to push your start button here now I've already got the focus on the right height here so I've got all that there and I'm going to go ahead and frame it and it's just going to tell me how big that is so that's a little bit too big so what we're going to do is go back to here and we're going to select all this and we're going to shrink it down really small download it again to the machine go back up here and let's frame it again as you can see a lot smaller okay turn my air water and laser on and go ahead and click start so as you can see it's burning the frog right now come back to this here in just a second I'll go ahead and show you a few more things. So that's that. But you can also uh, say you've got an AI file. So let's go ahead and delete this. Or before I do that though, I want to show you as you've seen my my laser pointer it started I put it in the middle of the wood. Now say if you want to start on the corner uh, you're going to select everything and you're going to go, or you don't even have to do that. You just go to configs, system settings, and there's just going to be this right here. And that's going to put the, that green box up in the top left corner, like that. And that's where the laser pointer is going to work. And I'll show you that. This should be finishing up for the frog. And see now it's engraving the the word frog at a uh, a deeper rate, or sorry, a slower rate, and it's making a deeper burn. Um, and that'll be over in a second. And then you'll see next here, you'll see it won't engrave the square; it'll just cut the square uh, because that's what we programmed it to do. Here. So as you can see, we've done exactly what we took it to. Okay, move the machine off. Okay, I'm back to the software. Um, so, if you wanted to, we started in the middle, but if you want the pointer to start over here, then that's how you select it and uh, and get everything lined up that way. Okay. Um, next, I'm going to show you, um, in the next video, I'm going to show you, in part two, I'm going to show you how to use um, note editing and um, a little bit more in depth about the fonts. And I'm also going to show you uh, AI images, and uh, that's similar to like a vector image. And uh, there's some really cool things you can do with that. So stay tuned, guys, and I'll see you later.